is give you a shibuya sabe you with another video and in this video today guys now that i've had time to reflect we're gonna be breaking down this last drop as a as a whole talking about how why this is in my opinion the most problematic drop we have ever gotten in the history of 2K and in my team. Now, before I dive into it, guys, you guys, uh, a lot of people get mad at me. Tuh, you're the problem. You buy packs. Okay, like, you, you do realize I play in tournaments every week and I need the best team, right? Like, I, I feel like people are so oblivious. Yes, for me, I, I, I got to do what I got to do. I have to get the best team in the game on my main account. For you guys out there, you do not need the best team in the game to play, you know, offline modes or play in triple threat, to play in clutch time, or even unlimited. You do not need the best team in the game. So that's why when I advise you guys, yes, sometimes I don't take my own advice that I give to you guys, but there are reasons for that. Now, let's talk about why this is such a, a bad concept and, and why this is probably the week, and, and I'm going to be straight up honest, I think 2K made double the amount of money this drop than in any drop before this week. Now, let's break down why. Why? It's because it's all gambling. It's it, That's this drop. It's all gambling. And I see a lot of people like, oh yeah, this is what 2K did when they got rid of the auction house. I mean, to an extent, yes. Um, but but on the same side of it, it's uh, like, yes, that, that's part of it. But at the same side, or at the same time, with what they'd done with unauctionable players, they could have just done that this year uh, and, and put cards in packs that are unauctionable inserts like that. That's what they could have done. So yes, the auction you could say the auction house would would save things, but not if they're not even going to be available. Like that's the problem. Even the player market. As many as many people want to hate on the player market and say the player market's ruined the game. I mean, sure, the auction house was better than the player market. I don't think anybody's going to doubt that. But the big problem here is there's a player market that's not accessible. Like, you're putting how many of these cards are not in the player market? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 of these cards in packs are not in the player market. The amount of cards that are in the player market, you're looking at 16 total cards in the player market. 15 aren't in the player market. I mean, you have to gamble for every Galaxy Opal. It's sad. And and, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. And, and I, I hope you know that nobody gets mad at me for saying this. Gambling is 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 one of the most addicting things in the entire in in, in the world. And, and and I'll even I'll even talk about it sports betting wise. I think how easily accessible it is on people's phones now. It's it's worse than nearly any other thing that this world has to offer. Uh, because most people when they sports bet they don't you know do research enough they just do it you know casually and they lose money and then they lose money and they're like well eventually i'm gonna hit right like eventually i i'm gonna hit big right and it's the same thing with these packs people think eventually they're gonna hit big eventually they're gonna pull a galaxy open and then they rip and then they rip and then they rip they're $200 in, and then they finally pull their first Galaxy Opal, and then their Galaxy Opal that they pull is going to be, let's say, like a, I'm just going to, Mac McClung. Oh, well, I really wanted Brown, I really wanted Giannis, so I'm going to rip. And I'm going to rip, and then I'm going to rip. And then you're $500 in before you finally pull one of them. Then you need to pull the other one. Then you need to feel like you need to pull Kareem. And then you're $1,000 into this thing, and you don't, like, it's all gambling. There's no guarantees with it, with this thing, and I think that's the big problem. The other problem is, even this lock-ins for the sets is gambling, too. You have a 20% chance to pull Brown, a 20% chance to pull Giannis. Yes, some of the other Galaxy Opals, at least in the Western Conference, are fine, like SGA is good, some others are good, but it's all gambling, all gambling. And, and I think that's the big problem I have with it is, why is there not another way to go about this? Why is this number one not an option pack? Why if if here's uh, here's what I would have done, okay? Even if you had to make these more expensive, make these be an option pack right here. Option, option, okay? You get both the Eastern Conference and Western Conference Galaxy Opal Boom. Then you can lock in for Kareem, because then people are having to spend over a hundred dollars, basically a hundred and. $30 at least to get Brian, get Giannis, get Kareem. Make it at least accessible and not all gambling. I think that's that. That's where I'm really uh, kind of distraught. But 2K knows what they are doing. They know that, that 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 some people love this type of content and some people love the thrill of packs. And I, I I'm gonna say it like this: the thrill of packs this year have, has not really been there because everything has been in the player market. Again, I personally like that because I don't want to have to rip. Oh, 
ton of money worth of packs to post some of the best cards, but it's it's some some here's the deal, guys. In past years, I've seen people rip thousands of dollars on one drop to try to pull Braun, try to pull Giannis. And if they can just lock in for it, it's I mean, that for a hundred dollars, then 2K is losing out on so much money. And 2K knows that. And, and I think that's what 2K is trying to do with these packs. But what they failed to realize is for the majority of this con uh, community, this content was absolutely useless. It's not accessible. There's no way to grind for it. And, and it's just they're, they're, the players aren't even in the player market. Like, I don't even care if you put let's even if they would just put Kareem behind a big time paywall. Okay, make Kareem 500,000 VC. He's 100 overall. Okay, I get it. But eventually, you got to make players directly vi viable. Make Braun, make Giannis 250,000 VC a piece. So by the time you get Kareem, by the time you get Giannis and Braun, you're spending $200 on three cards. That's plenty, but at least it's not all tied behind gambling. Make them a million MT in the player market. That's what they would have been with the auction house, anyways. I just feel like there are so many just lost opportunities with this. And this needs to be content that we, quote unquote content, that we never needs to see again. Because this is gambling, guys. This is absolutely 100% gambling. And there's no other way to sugarcoat it, man. It's all gambling. Gambling, gambling, gambling. You have to test your luck to try to pull Galaxy Opals. That, no matter how you phrase it. There is not a guaranteed Galaxy Opal that you can get with a set amount of money. You could spend $2,000 and not get either Giannis, Braun, or Kareem. Let that sink in. A virtual card that 2K says has no value to you and that basically 2K owns your account with the new terms of, terms of service and they can do whatever they want with it, right? But they, you, they want you to spend thousands of dollars to try to pull these cards. And again, I probably ripped 100 packs. You guys do the math on how much that costs. I've probably ripped 100 of these packs. I've pulled zero Galaxy Opals. Not only did I not pull Braun, not only did I not pull Giannis, not only did I not pull Kareem, I ripped a zero Galaxy Opals. The Galaxy Opals I got was from the player mark. So again, let it sink in. 300,000 VC, 300,000 MT uh, or VC, plus let's say 100 packs. Not Maybe not quite 100, maybe like 70. But still, not one Galaxy Opal. I mean... We've got to be better at some stage, 2K, because enough is enough. You, 2K thinks, oh, they got, the, you know, everybody in my, like everybody under this thing that everybody's going to stay in the community and continue to play my team. That's not the case. Because if people can't get their favorite cards, Braun, Giannis, Kareem, whatever, like Kareem's 100 overall. He's like a special insert. But like Braun and Giannis, they're nothing special. They're just in this drop. And the fact that, they, that you can't even get them out of this, it's an equal chance pack. The fact that it's not a choice pack, an option pack, I think is the biggest problem with this drop. If Bron or Giannis was in this option pack, I would not complain nearly enough, but it's an equal chance pack. It's an equal chance pack. I, I just cannot get behind it. And then for them to say, oh yeah, the the, the winners of all these dunk contests, the, the winners of the, uh, the, the, the three point contest, the skills challenge, all this stuff, whatever, they're all hidden behind a paywall too. It's in gambling. It's not even just a paywall. It's gambling. And so I don't know. I just, for me, this is content we never need to see again. It, 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 it could all be fixed with 2K just doing, making the cards attainable directly with this set amount. So let's say they put LeBron in the game for 300,000 VC. Well, guess what, guys? He's at least in the game that you can directly buy and not have to straight up gamble for it. And that's what he would have been basically right here. For 300,000 VC, which is basically $70, you would have been able to get LeBron James out of the Western Conference pack if it was an option pack. But again, you can't do it. And even for me, guys, it's like, I want a way to get all the Galaxy Opals, not just one from each conference. Because now that I, myself, on my main account, I got Giannis, I got Bron, which is fantastic. But guess what, guys? I still want Shea. I still, like, like Shea would help my squad out of ten. I still want Luka. I still want KD. But there just comes a point where I can't get these guys. I, I, I Even Kareem. I would love nothing more than on my main account to have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the best card in the game, but he's unattainable. And, and you're just pushing people away when you release content that is unattainable for 95% of the community. Not only did we see everything behind gambling, not only did we see everything behind, you know, this massive paywall... The cheapest card in this entire in this entire drop was 105,000 MT. 
I get not every promo is going to be for everybody. And we just got this all-star grind in which you got a couple of solid cards in here. But are we serious with the cheapest card being 105,000 MT? Grinding-wise, you have to grind six, seven hours to get that amount of MT. I mean, are we serious, 2K? That's the cheapest card you're going to put in that drop? The cheapest decent card is 168,000 MT. What are we doing, 2K? You're pushing the community away. And if we ever see content like this again, I, 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 you know why 2K is dropping it. You know why 2K is dropping it. Again, for me, I have to keep the best team in the game or try to. But it's, it's just all behind a massive, massive, massive paywall. And I get it to an extent, but at least make the paywall attainable. Like, that's the biggest problem with that. Not gambling. Make it attainable. That's it for me, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to it. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.